I got the return offer, guys. <laughs> This, this is very crazy to me. I started coding last year, September. Now I could be making six figures by the time I'm 19. It doesn't even seem real to me. I'm gonna get into the things that they said as to how I got the return offer and stuff like that, what made me stand out. But um, I'm very, very proud of myself and surprised I got this far. The experience of HubSpot was amazing. When I just started, I was given an onboarding buddy and that person was there for me to ask questions whenever I needed. And it was kind of used as a way of like, I can ask questions without feeling like I'm being evaluated, you know, because some people might be scared to ask their manager questions because they feel like they're being evaluated. So that was very helpful and very uh, welcoming. As I started, there was a few sessions talking about how HubSpot makes their money, how HubSpot works, different things like that. So that's gold. Then that same week that I started, we had some dinners with the new hires all the new people on the engineering side of things. There was a lot of meetings with all, all the new people all around, including sales, business development representatives, different things like that. We all had meetings and stuff to talk to each other. That was pretty fun. And after the first week again, yeah, got into the actual engineering side of things and all. And everything was pretty smooth. Every month I had feedback sessions where we would go through a detailed doc talking about what I'm good at, what I'm bad at, what I could be better at, and what I'm really good at. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Just to make sure that I know if I'm on track or if I need to improve on different things and stuff like that. So it's just, they're really trying to make sure that I grow as well as HubSpot. <laughs> yeah, I had them feedback sessions every month. I also had weekly one-on-ones with my manager so we could talk about different things that I'm working on and if I need help with anything that I'm working on and stuff, I could speak to him then. Yeah, I'd stand up every day around 11 a.m. where we talk about what we're working on, what we, what we have done, what we are going to work on, if we're blocked on anything, if we need help on anything, different stuff like that, we raise it for discussion there just to make sure the team is all synced up. Everybody knows what everybody's doing. And that was for the most part what I was doing. And it was just throughout the entire experience, I always had somebody there to help me. And sometimes I when I'm in the office, <laughs> random people would come and speak to me and ask me who I am and stuff like that and try to get to know me because I'm just a new intern in here. So like, Hopsport had a very, very friendly environment, very friendly, inclusive environment, very helpful environment. And I really loved working there as well as that. I got free food, free food every single day. We got breakfast, lunch. We had different stuff every day. I was talking pasta, pizza, all this different stuff, burgers, all that stuff. Every single day had different stuff on Tuesdays. We had pancakes, different things like that. It was amazing. Add by desk had two monitors and i brought my own keyboard and mouse the desk was able to lift up to a standing desk go down chairs were extremely comfortable i even had my name on the desk <laughs> yeah it made me feel really professional even though i was an intern but yeah <laughs> yeah so it was a very very fun experience for real i, I really recommend those spot for anybody else working there i know i'm not just trying to market them okay this is real words my manager yeah. told me what really made me stand out and to me i'm going to list a few things and one thing was I asked a lot of questions. It was visible to them that I'm eager to learn because of how many questions I'd be asking. Letting them know how eager you are to learn lets them know that they can trust you to get you to, to work on this team with a complete different thing. Then yeah, you're gonna be able to learn that very fast and not afraid to learn new things. You want to learn new things and stuff like that. It's really good to let them know that. As well as that, be open to feedback and act on it. And the act on it part is probably the most important part. I was very open to the feedback every other feedback sessions anytime i would do something wrong they'd let me know what i'm doing wrong or in the feedback sessions where they let me know what i could be doing better and how i could be better i would always apply that and it's like and it was very visible to them that i applied the feedback so then after feedback session one after the first month i got feedback on something by the next feedback session they would be able to, to know that i applied the feedback that they gave me and it's like then that lets them know i want to learn and i am learning i'm open to feedback and that's one of the top qualities an engineer could have on any team as well as that communicating with my team a lot and i'm going to use an example here when i would submit a pull request and i get some comments about suggestions on code changes i can make i would communicate through okay all right cool do you want me to change this to this would you prefer this and why why do you want me to change this and okay i better change this and just things like that and like i would let them know okay after each after i would make each suggestion change i'd let them know okay done this done this 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 so that they can know okay 
all right he's he's implemented this he's implemented this he's implemented this throughout the code so it just feels like i'm having a conversation with them while walking through my pr yeah last year shows very good collaboration skills and it's very helpful with the team it makes things a lot easier when you're communicating in such a way and as well as that i would not be afraid to challenge something if i didn't like it uh, i would not be afraid to pitch things and stuff like that because there will be times where someone suggests a change and you actually don't think it's right a lot of people will just want to please people so then they just say okay okay i'll implement the change but no i was actually telling them why i don't think it's right and i was providing context and other proof if it's links if it's if it's a uh, code if it's any you know, that i'd provide reasons as to why i want it to be this way and why we shouldn't change it to this way it just shows them that i'm very confident and i also want others to learn and not just me you know so as well as that where they wanted a feature to be done i would get straight on to it i was prioritizing tasks very well and it was very evident to them and while one thing while one thing was going on in the background i was working on something else i wasn't letting things block me i was really managing my time very well and they could see that they could see i'm pushing things out very very quickly and efficiently and stuff like that and i think time management is a really big thing when it comes to internships because you're going to be given a lot of, there's going to be a lot of stuff you're going to have to do at the same time you could be having a support ticket support thread up on another team at the same time you have a pr up here at the same time you have to review a pr there and at the same time it's something get, or you have a you're having a talk about implementing a new feature with another product manager or something and it's just managing your time with all these things is very helpful and when you do manage your time it's very visible to your team so that pretty much sums it up i was asking a lot of questions i was collaborating with my team a lot communicating with them a lot and stuff like that and i wasn't afraid to challenge anything and when challenging things i provide a lot of context when communicating with my teammates, I would provide a lot of context to let them know, okay, exactly why I'm doing things. I was very open to feedback and I would apply the feedback. And I think the being able to feedback and applying the feedback part was the part that they really so, liked. So yeah, by the end of the internship, I ended up creating an internal tool for the team I was on, which is the FinTech Building Communications team. And it's now deployed and on production. And now the host providers are using it. I'm so happy to be going forward and... Uh, I will be coming back to Hopespot next year. So yeah, peace out guys. Jay.